it's really encouraging. When we started the, the autism program a few months ago and we started getting patients in and, and in the beginning we, we used uh, stem cells exclusively. Now, uh, with more research and, and, and more knowledge, we started using exosomes, and exosomes, I think, have been pivotal in, in this treatment and the outcomes we're getting. Um, well, we have many stories. I have uh, uh, stories uh, about a physician, a, a dentist, that uh, brought his kid in for, for autism and himself for anti-aging. The results we're getting have been amazing as well. I mean, with, with autism, uh, any change is good change. And I think with the use of exosomes along with, with the stem cells, we've been getting much better uh, results than, than we did in the beginning. So I think that in the future, we, we're going to be using more exosomes with these patients because as you know, autism has a lot of inflammation. There's a lot of inflammation expressed by, by these people uh, and the use of exosomes is going to be pivotal in how we treat them because of their anti-inflammatory and immune regulatory um, features. It all has to do with, with the severity of the, of the problem, like, like always. But the, the changes, uh, there are a big array of changes. So anywhere from being nonverbal to start speaking the first words, or being very, very active and, and not being able to stand still, uh, and then being able to, to sit through dinner. So, those, those changes, even as minimal as they are, parents love them because after seeing so many years of not seeing any real change with other therapies, they're seeing as small changes as this to, to really breakthroughs in, 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 their, in their symptoms.